Well, so far this year, search and rescue teams in southern Utah are averaging 10 operations per month. Now, that's raising concerns for the Washington County first responders. News for Utah, Lauren Mathias explains why. I have to deal with it repeatedly. You start getting a little concerned for their well being. So far, there have been 57 search and rescues in 2018, three in just five days. But recently, Sergeant Daryl Cashin says they've made more recoveries than rescues. We've had six body recoveries at this point, and five of them have come in the last four to five weeks. In one instance, they actually were, were working on the individual. He was alive when they reached him, carried him out of a canyon, and they were actually doing CPR on him when he expired. And that, that really takes a toll mentally on, on a, anybody. Sergeant Cashin says some of the volunteers reached out for help. Everybody wants to be the big tough guy and not admit that he's having an issue or problem. Uh, in this industry, to me, somebody that can stand up and say, you know what, I think I need a little bit of help with that, that's what makes them a good first responder. We're in the process of uh, setting up a meeting, uh, bringing in a mental health worker to discuss post-traumatic stress, signs and symptoms, and then if they need individual help or counseling, we're willing to offer that to them also. Sergeant Cashin says take extra water and always let someone know where you're going. We have this beautiful country. Go out and have some fun, but think it through, be safe, and go prepared. Um, that will make the difference on whether you survive or, you're, or you don't. In Hurricane, Lauren Mathias, News for Utah. Now, Sergeant Cashin says if you need help, don't wait. Ask for help or try to find help earlier in the day. When the sun goes down, he says, the search becomes more difficult for volunteers and those needing to be rescued.